Armenian monk who revolutionized music in the early 20th century. Who is Gomitas? I'm sorry. It's Gomitas Vartabed. That's right. Gomitas was a Vartabed. Let's find out what that means. Gomidas, Gomidas Vartabed. We make that point because a lot of times when we talk about Gomidas as this prolific artist, as this prolific musician, we refer to him by his first name, not realizing that if you lived, if you were a contemporary of his, you would greet him on the street. Asfats Oknagan Haid Sulp. You would refer to him as Father Gomidas. Well, Father Gomidas began his beautiful journey through life in 1869 as a young boy born in a town called Kataya. There he grew up and by age 12 he was already orphaned but he had a beautiful voice. And a priest, recognizing that beautiful voice, took him to Holy Etchmiadzin. There he was accepted into the seminary, where he learned Armenian. For the first time after the age of 12, he learned Armenian. There he was named Father Gomidas. He was named after a 7th century cleric of the Armenian church who was responsible for many of the Sharagans. Gomidas Vartabed literally means he was a doctor. Think of it in academia as a professor, somebody who taught, somebody who had knowledge, who presented his credentials in the field of music. And certainly by the time he went to Tiflis, there he met Magari Ekmalyan. You know that name because in most of the Armenian churches, Ekmalyan Badarak. Magar Ekmalyan is the person who wrote the music for the beautiful Badarak we enjoy in the Armenian church. But Gomidas Vartabed brought his mark on not only the church, but Armenian culture and in fact on Western music. A fascinating person who you have an opportunity to learn about and study. Today what I talk to you about is the inspiration that he drew. You see, on Sunday mornings, Gomidas Vartabed, just like many of us have the opportunity, he had the opportunity to go to church. He was at the Holy Badarak. He was at the same service that you and I can attend on Sunday morning. He was inspired by Jesus Christ. He was a monk. He was a priest of the Lord Jesus Christ. And like all great musicians from the time of Bach to Mozart, Gomidas too, made his contribution to the world by singing the praises of God. Listen to this, Horut Horin, mystery deep, inscrutable. You listen to that and you understand that it takes your heart away. It's not with your ears that you hear that melody, but it's with your heart. 
And that's what Gomidas's strength was, because his music spoke to the heart. It spoke to the soul. And today, when we celebrate Gomidas, we celebrate this person who was exploiting his talents, the God-given talents that Christ refers to. When he says that each of us is given a talent, one in a unique way, different from another, but what's important is not saying no to those talents. Gomidas said yes to those talents. And the beauty of Gomidas was that he was able to understand the presence of God all around us. For instance, the song Gakavik, it sings the praises of a God who can create creation in such a beautiful way. Gomidas was one who looked at nature and saw the face of God and reflected that in his music. Today, that's what we celebrate. Gomidas, the priest of Jesus Christ, the priest of the Armenian Church, Gomidas Vartanet. Oh